just like anyone else, so we look at the scout reports and uh, look at like what the team has, what kind of offense, defense they play, and you know just get ready. You know, work the week before, work harder the first practice before, and basically get ready. I have to say the national championship game this last year. Um, right after the game, when I saw like all my teammates, how happy they were. It was one of the happiest moments of my life too. And then the other one was when I was over in Australia and we won our gold medal. That was obviously another big one for me. Fourteen years ago, actually fifteen years ago, didn't think much about it. We've kind of been thrust into it, and really we were thrust into it about eight years ago when Dylan found wheelchair basketball, or I should probably say wheelchair basketball found Dylan. As a youngster, when he wanted to play soccer with the rest of the kids, it's strap your leg on and let's go. Um, when he wanted to wrestle, we took the leg off, put him out on the mat and let him go. Right? Um, but at all of those events, it was always Dylan with a prosthetic limb trying to be competitive with the able-bodied. And then the day we wandered through the gym at Nebraska Omaha, and kids were playing wheelchair basketball and they came up and said, hey kid, do you want to try this? Um, it opened up a whole new world for us. What most people don't understand is that it takes very little to suddenly become part of that disabled community. It can be a, it can be a cancer diagnosis where because of a bone cancer something needs to be removed. It can be an automobile accident where someone's suddenly paralyzed. It can be in a football game or somebody's paralyzed, but it takes a mere tenth of a second and suddenly you go from being able-bodied to disabled. Um, I had a friend one time who was disabled who mentioned to me that, that I was a tab and that anybody who was out walking around was a tab and he called them temporarily able-bodied, which when you think about it, we are because it takes very little, uh, a, a blink and all of a sudden a uh, car hits you and you lose the use of your arms and your legs. So we want to make sure that, that we take care of everybody because the other people might be us someday. You know? I'd like to eventually play for a Paralympic team and college team first, then Paralympics, and then hopefully overseas playing pro one day. I had uh, Ricardo Andrew out of here at USD, and then another one, uh, his name is uh, Jeremy Lottie. He's a coach for the University of Whitewater. Um, he's been one of my role models, and Paul Schulte is another one. He's a disabled athlete that's been like one of my mentors, too. We can basically do basically the same stuff that you guys do, just from the seat of a chair. 